praise the lord praise the lord my dear friends we live in a world which is confused and disturbed now the science the technology that led man to moon and to even they were preparing to go to sun but the corona virus has come and said you can't handle your own self many scientists have died many people are in wuhan who are doing the experiment they are dead man with the literature with all kind of artistic beautiful bodies beautiful actors they all were held up in the house god says open your eyes and see life is beyond yourself life is beyond your bodies life is beyond your families your cultures life is beyond you life comes from god life comes from love life comes from a anointing of the holy spirit and move your life is once before you get to world get into the truth and commit your life out to that one tell him lord i need you lord i need your power because my life is more than all that passing away i want while i live on this earth to get in touch with that eternity i want to get in touch with that glory the power that leads man beyond everything the lord spoke as you gave witness to me in jerusalem you have to give witness in rome also so now as soon as he reached rome festus the roman superior he called and paul and he noticed that as he was accused by the jews he doesn't deserve for death and he did not know what to do paul was talking about jesus he never worried whether these people know or not he knows jesus is alive he knows jesus that's all matters whether others know or not i know jesus and i proclaim him that is my life and jesus when he proclaimed jesus took control whom even that festus he wanted to please the jews so as soon as he came he started the meeting called paul the world can go to do 101 things you move with jesus and jesus will manifest himself if you move with the people the people's influence may do something for you if you move with him he will move with you and your life will be moved by him that's why in the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 it is written blessed is the man who trusts in the lord he is like a man planted near the streams of living water season may fail but that tree will continue to bear fruit because it is planted near the streams of living water many things can happen in the world drought can come sickness may come but are you planted near the heart of god heart of jesus are you is your thoughts moving oh i am getting tired oh, let me go and eat this or my family is struggling lar or i feel sir something has to be done so i will do or i can develop my business or i can develop my family so i will do don't make your decision based on that which is passing away your life on this earth is limited this limited time if you don't invest for to possess him his power his glory by the time you open your eyes you will be out god is calling each one of us even in that age even in the presence 
Paul was a man of prayer. Even in that stage, he began to cry, Lord, I need you. The faithful God changed the mind of that Festus. King Agrippa, what is the meaning of King Agrippa? He's a Jewish man. He's a Jewish king. So he will always support the Jews who are accusing Paul. When he came, he was talking to King Agrippa. Like this one man came. Agrippa said, I wanted to see him. But he could not do anything. When you are in the hands of God, nobody can touch you. When you are in the hands of God, you are in the hands of God. That's all. Whether you have others have power or anything, you will be taken care by him. Today we pray, St. Paul, who believed in the Lord, who trusted in the Lord, and who moved with the God, was led by God. Many people who thought, we, we will catch the emperor, we will catch Festus, we will catch Agrippa, nothing could do. When King Festus asked, when Festus asked, Paul, can I send you to Jerusalem, back where you can be trialed? He said, I will remain here. I want to talk to King Caesar. When you belong to the king of kings, your thinking is higher. You don't go down. You always look and think high, speak high. I want to meet the emperor. Maybe even King Agrippa may not get time to meet the king to the emperor. But Paul could say, I want to meet him. And it was granted. So Festus said, I am keeping him that he can meet Caesar. God will make all the arrangements for you, provided you have the dream, have the higher dream, higher plans of God. Don't just get stuck up with the little struggle of this world, solving the problem of this world, and how can I shine in this world? No. Keep your eyes on what he wants from me. Why did he create me? And what he wants to do through me? That's why in 1st John chapter 2 verse 26 onwards it is written, the world and all its glory is passing away. Blessed is the man who lives forever. Who could trust in the Lord? Yes, that's why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, the young man may lose his vigor. But those who trust in the Lord, they will be running and running. They will be flying higher and higher like the eagles. God has called you and me for that. Don't identify yourself with that which is passing away. Your family, yes, he has given to you for a few days. That with your salary, with your love, with your faith, you build up your children. I always tell my niece, if God has given you so many children, especially girls, don't lose courage. You are the only one, a faith-filled woman I have seen you. And God has given you that you should build up three families. Why 30 families? With the faith. God has a greater plan. Your life is beyond this world. What others think of you, you don't bother. God has a great dream for you. God has a great plan for you.